four after how to compare process capability and uh, and then the similarly control chart we'll start with the control chart today and this is main important topic because if you do it through the stat menu you won't be able to compare it and there is a cool feature is available in assistant not only it compare it also put the hypothesis testing in place so that it also get the p value also as well before further i do let me start and create the random data so i will call it as yield data right or output before and i will call it as another uh, cell called yield after and i will also will get like yield after i am going to have uh, you know reducing the standard deviation right so that i will give so three columns i have kept it in order to illustrate uh, the values so what i will do i will go to uh, calculator i'll get to go to random data in the random data i need to follow the normal distribution i'll follow so what i will keep i will generate 30 data set so to meet the central limit theorem and yield data before let's say mean value let's say 95 right with a standard deviation of one give okay so now it has given that standard yield data for 30 yield data this i considered as before i'll go to control e go back to the previous command and i will say uh, so create the after but after what i'm doing it i'm just increasing two percentage right but i'm not reducing the variation but i'm just increasing i mean same standard deviation that is one but i'm just keeping like uh, uh, two percentage i'm yield improving it that is fantastic right let's see from the statistical point of view so this one and now this time what i'm doing it not only i'm reducing it okay by two percentage i'm not only i'm improving the yield by two percentage but also reducing the half of the standard deviation so uh, let's say one to point five percentage so this is the one now let's begin before and after so go to assistant and uh, go to control chart have a click on it so now we are talking about yield alone let's say our subgroup is only one we're gonna say imr individual moving in chart right so the data data is subgroup you can see there is a tiny definition about subgroups and and then we're going to take imr okay so now all y data in one column no because we have a stacked in different thing right so we can say y data in two columns so this is before this is after i'll the before and after column displayed as separate stages so there is a separator like blue line give okay now you see that uh, there is a fantastic uh, the dashboard summary is has created it says was the process standard deviation reduced the answer is no why the p value is greater than uh, 0 0.05 that is 53.6 it says that after a process improvement you may want to test whether there was a reduction in the standard deviation it shows that this is not right after the one the standard deviation was not uh, reduced statistically right i mean significantly sorry significantly the mean is significantly in, uh, increased there is no doubt mean is increased so there is a vouch on mean uh, because you see that 95 percentage to 97 percentage you can see here initially we picked as uh, uh, you can see here 95 and now it became 96.6 there is an Im improvement that improvement is also uh, you know th there is that improvement is also very very significant that's what this point talks about it but when it comes to standard deviation there is no uh, significant point right furthermore uh, so you also get that within and overall also as well and uh, we have also talked about within and overall in separate video so that you can catch up so you can see this is the process before and this is the process after right this gives one report and also not only that it also gives that uh, the diagnostic report uh, to look for the pattern like we have a pattern eight interpretation rule right whether it follow the interpretation rule or not looks the difference like this and this and all that right so okay the lastly it also gives you summary also as well right summary it gives a report card before before and after imr chart is intent to make the comparison between before and after a process change many type doesn't perform any check for condition that affect the false alarm rate uh, or the accuracy one it just giving the information the primary just compare the data whatever the data you have given now the same thing 
so we did that experiment right experiment maybe i will call it as experiment a uh, experiment 1 in the experiment 1 what we have learned one second experiment 1 uh, what we learn we learn that yield is significant but standard deviation uh, we are talking about so let's say mean okay mean is significant and standard deviation is not significant and if you are interested to look for the consistency and all that then you might probably say yeah uh, and you might still uh, consider the vouch and say not significant right the same case what i'm doing in now i'm just control e i will go back to the previous one here i will you remember that here we reduced the standard deviation 1 to 0.05 right 0.5 sorry 0.5 right just go and have a have a see now you see both are impactful or in other word both are significant was the process standard deviation reduced yes there is a reduce because it is significantly reduced the standard deviation was reduced by 58.3 how that 58.3 has calculated uh, take an example of uh, 1. sorry 1.01 and then 0.42 if you 0.41 minus 0.42 Divided by one, you will get fifty-eight point three. Are you any one formula you can apply? The mean is also significantly make sure, uh, make sure that direction uh, shift is improvement. So this is clear. Now the process was like this. Now it became uh, you know pushed upward, and uh, now minimum we get ninety-five, and then maximum we get ninety-nine. The process is well improved. You also get the other chart like interpretation chart and the report card and all that. So this is how uh, you can do control chart. not only we can combine before after that is one we can also combine our hypothesis testing directly to that so that we can take the right decision i hope you find it useful please stay tuned for another update called before after process capability we are also going to do thank you so much